Hey guys, what's up? Nick here once again. This video is going to be a little bit different than my previous couple of videos that you may have watched or if you're new to the channel, welcome. Main reason I say that is because this is my first video where I'm kind of just talking over already pre-recorded gameplay. Most of my content on here is live gameplay, live commentary, and I kind of just splice it up. So it's not just me rambling or nonsense or just silence, I guess, between the gameplay. That being said, today we are actually going to be talking about the Twisted Metal television show and the reason I really want to talk about this today is because I actually learned a few new things today that I wasn't expecting to find out I just randomly decided to google it because I haven't heard about any new updates about the show in quite a while and for one we have a set date for the first aired episode of the show so that I guess answers any questions you had on is it real is it a legit show yes it is it has already wrapped up filming and everything but I have found out now they do have a set air date of August 12th of 2023, and it will be streaming on Peacock, I believe. So, which is kind of cool. So Peacock is free. You don't have to pay for it. There is commercials, but it's nice that this will be open to anybody who wants to give it a try. There's also a couple other things that are both, they intrigue me, but they also uh, kind of worry me. Because, as you know, I'm a huge Twisted Metal fan. Uh, it's my all-time favorite series of games in general, in forever. My entire life has pretty much had Twisted Metal in it ever since I can remember. I grew up playing it with my older brothers, and then my dad, and then by myself as the games came out when I was older. So with all that, I want this show to succeed. Not only just for us Twisted Metal fans, but I want it to be fun and enjoyable for people who's never even heard of the games before. And on top of that, if this show does well, we are all fully aware that this would lead to another game to come out in the future, which I would be so stoked about. And I have talked about that, of course, previously on this channel. And I think I'll go more in depth with that in a future video as well when I talk about more in depth of my wish list for a future twist of metal. But for this video specifically, we're just talking about the TV show and the few things that I mentioned earlier that kind of made me a little wor worry, I guess is the best way to describe it for the show is that it's labeled on IMBD. And this could change over time. This might not be accurate, but right now it's labeled as an action comedy. So here's the thing. Twisted Metal, of course, started out as a very campy, arcadey car combat game with some, you know, more adult themed theatrics thrown in here and there, especially with Twisted Metal 2. I felt that was kind of the epitome of what Twisted Metal was meant to be in the sense of it was cartoony, it was silly, it was fun and sometimes funny, but underneath it was dark and sinister and, you know, bloody and gory and, you know, stuff like that. So it was more appealing to adults, even though kids and including myself played it back in the day. That being said, then we moved on to Twisted Metal Black. And I feel that is where the series was the strongest. I've talked about this many times that, of course, it is my favorite in the series and I want to see more from that universe. And they did kind of continue that with the PS3 version of Twisted Metal, but it still was lackluster a little bit in the in the single player and storyline department. But I was glad to see that they made it mature and went more of the bloody, you know, dark route. However, seeing that this is going to be an action comedy kind of worries me. I was hoping it'd be an action horror themed show because that would tell me that they're going more for that dark, sinister feel of Twisted Metal and not the campy silliness of the originals. So, just that alone, seeing action comedy kind of worries me a little bit because it, it might seem like the people making this may have only played the original Twisted Metals and they're kind of... It's the same situation with Twisted Metal 3 and 4. They're great games on their own, but when you slap a Twisted Metal name on it, you have to treat it as a Twisted Metal game and that's why they are looked at as some of the worst in the series because of a lot of reasons, but mostly because of the narrative and the stories and the characters. And that's because they looked at Twisted Metal 1 and 2 and they thought, well, we can do that too. And we under we kind of understand the world and we understand what the, the games are about, but it's it was more like somebody just trying to be cool, trying to make those games, not somebody who is actually in that world or understands the world of Twisted Metal. And I kind of getting that feeling right now of this show. The other thing too, that kind of, <laughs> and this again, 100% everything you're hearing today, take it with a grain of salt because it's not set in stone. I don't know 100% if this is true or not. But 
looking at the casting and and by the way i think the casting is going to be really good i like a lot of these actors i've seen them in other things movies and tv shows you name it i love will arnett as well i think he's going to be a perfect casting choice for sweet tooth but here's the thing that i know this is kind of weird so for for instance anthony mackie's in this and i think he's another amazing actor you may have seen him in the mcu series but he is going to be in 10 episodes apparently and i think that's how long the season is it's gonna be 10 episodes and he is playing the character of John Doe, which, if you guys uh, know Twisted Metal, that is Roadkill. And one of the coolest characters in the entire series, in my opinion, when it comes to his backstory and the lore. But he's in 10 episodes. Every other character or actor and actress that I see on this list is on seven or less episodes. So it goes from seven episodes to six episodes to four episodes. It just keeps going down and down and down until you get to Will Arnett. And he's at the bottom of the cast. Will Arnett's a huge actor. He's a huge name in this space. So the fact that he's very far down the list on the on the casting and he's only set for one episode, and it does say he is Sweet Tooth, that kind of worries me. Is he just going to be, is Sweet Tooth only going to be in one episode of the entire Twisted Metal show? Which just seems really weird to me. Is it where he's only playing Sweet Tooth for one episode, maybe like as a flashback or something, and then they they have a different person playing Sweet Tooth who takes place in the future? I don't know. It it really that worries me. Again, this could be a glitch. It could be something IMBD hasn't gotten correct yet with their information. That all could be true, one thousand percent. And all these characters that are showing only like one episode or three episodes, six episodes, whatever, they might be showing that right now, but they might actually be in every episode coming up which I really hope is the case because some of these actresses and actors, like I said, I love, I've seen them in other stuff and they're great. And I would like to see them in more than just one episode. The other thing too, is it might be spoilers, you know, looking at some of these is like, oh, they're only in four episodes. Well, maybe on the fourth episode, they get killed. You know, it's twisted metal. So these characters are going to die. Some of them are going to die. Some of them are going to live. And there's only going to be one victor to the end of the show in which if this is all accurate, clearly it's going to be John Doe is going to be the guy who makes it all the way to the end, which is kind of a spoiler because when it comes to twisted metal there really has never been a set in stone like winner or loser in the series of course it's always up to the player who they choose and who they play through the entire tournament with and get to the end to get their wish there never was like a a dedicated canon character who always makes it to calypso by the end of the game so that's what's really interesting to me that's why i was really curious with this show is who are they going to choose to make it to the end is it all going to be the same situation where it's a car combat contest held by Calypso? He has special powers and he can give wishes. And are they going in it to get a wish from him, right? Like, is that is that going to be the storyline or is it going to be something completely new just with Twisted Metal on the title? So there's clearly a lot of things that we don't know yet. There's a lot of things that I'm very worried about with this show, but I'm also extremely excited for. Mainly just because this show, or not the show, but this game this series the name twist metal is still getting recognized in 2023 almost what is that 27 28 years later it's just amazing that this game is still going strong and it's still in people's hearts and people's minds all these years later and that's why i want this show to succeed even if it does stray away from the games in certain ways like maybe the characters don't make sense to the games or what it whatever right as long as it makes the show better for a TV experience and for a wider audience to enjoy the show and it gets really good reviews, maybe it even wins awards, who knows? If that becomes the case, I'll be fine with that because I want it to succeed. I want this show to be amazing and I want it to get the name out there so we can get more Twisted Metal games. On top of that, you know, if they are going to make a Twisted Metal PS5, I really want them to also branch out and put it on PC as well so that it can be out in more hands more players can play twisted metal and give raving reviews and hopefully make more in the future yada 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 so in the end what are you guys' thoughts on this are you going to be watching the twisted metal tv show are you going to be checking it out when it comes out are you excited for it are you nervous for it what are your thoughts i want to hear them in the comment section below because that's my favorite part about this channel is hearing your guys' thoughts on it and having discussions and all that because it's not just about me these are my opinions, of course, but if you have other opinions, I'm never going to say you're wrong because everyone has a voice. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a, a wonderful day and hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace out.